Hey friends, today we're going to talk about this new Google Cyber Security Certification. Why the hype? Is it overhyped? And can it actually help you land the job? Now, further to this, we're also going to compare it to the CompTIA Security Plus. Should you still get certified? Is Security Plus still rated at the level that it is? Now, fair warning, this is going to be a longer video, but it is going to cover every single thing that you need to know with regards to the Google Cybersecurity Certification, as well as the CompTIA Security Plus, how they compare, whether you should do both and whether it is really worth it. I'm not even going to drag this out. Google has really outdone themselves. This is truly one of the most comprehensive cybersecurity entry level certification programs that I have seen. It really covers everything. If you think of theoretical knowledge, plus some practical hands-on practicing, plus some job readiness skills, Google has really thought this program well through. So if you're just looking for the answer on whether this is worth it, then resounding yes. This Google Cybersecurity Certification is absolutely worth it. Okay, now let's dive deeper into the actual certification itself. I've enrolled myself in the course. I wanted to see what it's all about. I was curious. So I will give you the experience that I've had uh, throughout this course. Some of the things that I thought was really in-depth some of the things that I've taught compares to the Security Plus and just the overall experience and the details about the course so that you can really make an informed decision on whether you want to take the certification or not. Now, the Google Cybersecurity Certification is offered on Coursera. It's got eight courses in and it's estimated to take you around six months if you're going to spend seven or eight hours per week. Now, you can absolutely spend more time a week and complete the course faster. It's up to you how much time you have, how engaged you are in the course. Um, but that's sort of more or less the timeline that it's anticipated to take you. One thing that I found particularly interesting in the course is that throughout the eight course program, you are actually being educated by cybersecurity professionals currently working at Google and they're sharing their experiences a lot of diversity in the course which is like really well done to google there are a lot of females actually that offering the training and sharing their knowledge another thing that particularly stood out for me when i was taking the training is that in every module there's actual case studies and user stories and people sharing their experience with getting into cybersecurity. so you really get like the personal stories and the personal guidance and advice from actual people uh, who have managed to get into the industry and they shared their journey and their insights, which I thought was a really good personal touch. And it's always so hard to be able to speak to people who has gone through the journey already. And the fact that Google has included this um, and there are multiple stories and it's, it's really inspiring and people share knowledge. Um, so I found that particularly helpful. And I think to any newcomer into the industry, that will be really valuable. Now, the Google Cybersecurity Certification with regards to the CompTIA Certification actually puts you into an interesting position where Google says that completing the certification will be able to get a SOC analyst type job or it's even for a beginner IT professional, even if you don't really start in cybersecurity itself, but it's for a beginner. And then also one thing that is interesting is that Google actually advocate for you to get certified in security plus so you actually get a 30 percent discount when you complete the google Cybersecurity course and that just means that you are able to take the comptia security plus certification at a discounted price all right let's talk more about the program itself now the program and i've got some details here on my ipad about the program but it includes 170 hours of course content and there are really hundreds of practice-based assessments that you need to do. If you've ever taken a Coursera course there, 
there are milestones that you need to meet and then um, you sort of follow the structure of the course. I found that throughout this has kept me personally accountable to like complete things uh, within a certain time period because they give you kind of when you need to do your submission of the module and do your assessment so there are time frames. So if you struggle with accountability to complete online programs and online certifications and self-study this one will help you a ton with those milestones that they have listed there then the content is also a mix of video and labs and hands-on based assessments it gives you the ability to really become familiar with cybersecurity tools and different platforms and kind of the actual skills that is required to get a hands-on or an entry-level job rather now this is where it really really shines and it really outshines the security plus because security plus is only theoretical knowledge so you'll learn a lot of theoretical knowledge but i found that the google course content was so comprehensive that it actually covered everything that you need in the security plus plus it also gives you the hands-on practice to what you're actually learning so it's like a uh, like if you've ever watched any of my previous videos, I always advocate for the fact that you should learn and you should study the theory of security plus and in parallel do some hands on practice. And this is exactly what the Google cybersecurity certification allows you to do. Now, let's talk about some of the skills that you'll actually gain. And the list of skills that I've noted here that actually gets tested as part of this uh, certification, you learn Python, Linux, SQL, you learn to work with um, a SIM security incident and event management, you learn to work on intrusion prevention systems. And then there are also some softer skills that, that they also actually teach you, which is effective communication, collaboration, analysis, problem solving. And all these skills are really valuable for a career in cybersecurity. This video would be really long if I went through every single module and every single course in detail. So I wanted to break down module one and then sort of you can get the gist of it and get the picture throughout. But the, this was my experience in module one where you get started and there's an entire section about the course basically. And then it gives you kind of the program outline. There are some resources there available for you. And it's really things that you need to have a successful experience throughout the program. Then the second component moves to the actual introduction of cybersecurity. So this is even for someone who has no idea what cybersecurity is all about and you're just looking for that very first initial starting point. This Google certification will give you the actual introduction to cybersecurity content. It will tell you what it actually is, why it is needed, why you can have a career in cybersecurity. And to me, it was really a good reminder as to why I'm a cybersecurity professional and why I work in cybersecurity. Then the next section of the course that really stood out for me again, even though this is only module one, was the transferable skills. So Google actually tells you that if you are already a working professional, you have transferable skills and you can use those skills to move into cybersecurity. And so this, this uh, section in the module also covers some of the transferable skills uh, that you can utilize to move your career into cybersecurity. And then finally, one thing that stood out with every module is that you get this weekly glossary of terms. Cybersecurity is a world of acronyms, right? It's like we speak an entirely different language. So with this, when you finish each module, at the end of each week, you'll get kind of this glossary of terms. And with this, you get to learn new cybersecurity terms and actually remember them every single week, which is really helpful and valuable in this industry. Now, the course really goes further and it covers some of these topics in depth, like risk management, and it dives into NIST and security audits. It covers network security and it really dives into security hardening and TCP IP models. You get hands on with Linux, um, SQL and Bash. It covers um, kind of any asset management threats and the vulnerability landscape detection and response automation with Python. I mean, you get the picture. It's just a whole lot of content that is covered as part of this. And beyond that, my favorite component in this entire program is how well Google has covered the cybersecurity job component. I think they've really done a good job with 
identifying the requirement for professionals or aspiring professionals to not maybe know how to enter the industry once they have finished an, a boot camp or an educational program. And this program really bridges that gap. So I found that particularly very, very valuable. And by the way, if you are enjoying this video, please consider subscribing and joining my community. I share weekly cybersecurity videos. And if this is something that you are interested in, definitely hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Okay, now let's get into some of the nitty gritty details of this course, which is of course, how much money do you need to have to take the Google cybersecurity certification? So firstly, it's offered on Coursera, which means that you can start for free for the first seven days and you can really assess whether this is something for you. Then in order to complete the course, it's going to cost you around 49 US dollars per month. Um, it's a subscription based model and basically decide how fast you actually complete the course and get the most value out of it. So with that, you, you can gauge if it takes you the full six months, you're going to spend around um, I think it's around $300 and it takes you three months. It's of course less than that. With that also, you are able to then get 30% discount on the CompTIA Security Plus certification. In my opinion, you don't need to study anything else for in order to take your Security Plus certification after the Google program. I think it's completely sufficient from a knowledge perspective to cover everything. And so there you'll have kind of the double whammy. You'll have the certification from Google and you will also have the Security Plus certification. Another option for you to consider is that you can actually apply for financial aid. You'll have to do this for each individual course, I believe, in the program. But if you're not in a position to pay the monthly costs, then applying for financial aid might just be uh, one of the best options that you have available to you. Comparing this to Security Plus, the current uh, exam costs $392 for only the exam. And if you need to get more study material, I think it's over $2,000 on the official CompTIA website, or there are a lot of organizations who offer boot camps and it can cost you quite a bit of money. Having said that, there are also a lot of free resources and I've done a complete guide to Security Plus. If you are interested in that, I will link it down below. Okay, let's get to the final thoughts in this video. I think you might have gathered the Google cybersecurity certification offered on Coursera, in my opinion, is definitely, definitely worth it. If you have the Security Plus certification already and you may still be lacking some of the knowledge or it was too theoretical for you or um, you just feel like there are some knowledge gaps to bridge, then I would still say going through this certification is so worth it for you because in addition to just revisiting the knowledge and the theoretical component as part of this you'll also practice hands-on so it kind of bridges that gap that you didn't get when you were doing the CompTIA Security Plus and then finally of course the biggest factor is that after going through all of this I personally think that it really increases your employability because it actually teaches you how to network how to market yourself how to structure your skills so that you can actually be in a much better position to get an entry level job. All right, friends, if you are currently taking this certification program, I would love to know your feedback down in the comments below. Please let me know what your experience is. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think the $49 a month for the program is worth it or not? Please share your feedback, your comments, and any helpful tips for anyone who's looking to take the certification if you're already in the process. And with that, thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video. I will have all the resources, the links to the program, everything that I've mentioned in this video linked down below. And if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might find it helpful. I will catch you next time. Bye.